Hey y'all, Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here with a Lunchtime Live today. Our first uh, craft of 2024 and it's Valentine's. So I'm super excited um, to show you these little crafts. Super easy. For those of you who don't know me, Lois East with Ellie Grace's Attic. Uh, I um, do all kinds of things on this page, but I love to come on and just craft for you and do budget-friendly decor. Um, your home decor does not have to be super expensive, and I am living proof of that. I am um, frugal. <laughs> it's a nicer way to say cheap, right? Uh, I, I love finding things that I can do myself and make my home beautiful without breaking the budget. So we've got some Valentine's things uh, planned out for you guys over the next uh, couple of weeks. So let's just get to it. Today I'm going to be working with these cute little mini hearts. I got them a while back at Hobby Lobby in the um, wood department back by the paint. They have all the wood blanks. I found these. They were very inexpensive. Unfortunately, they don't have a price on them, but I know they were probably around $2. And if you look, if you catch it, they, you know, the, the wood department, it'll go on sale for 40% off. So that's when I usually try to stock up on little fun things like this. But you can find, I've seen hearts at um, uh, not just Hobby Lobby, at Walmart they have them, um, at Dollar Tree you can catch them sometimes, uh, just keep your eye out, even Dollar General sometimes will have these. So all you need is a little wooden heart. Um, this one is, see it has a little ridge, so it's a little thicker and it's a little rough around the edges and that's okay, I'm going to keep that uh, rustic rough look but we're gonna uh, play with um, conversation hearts today and these are going to end up in my tiered tray um, I used these a while back and did some I think I covered it or decoupaged um, and burnt napkins on here but this time we're gonna I thought let's make a conversation heart okay that didn't come off clean and that's okay I'm just getting the little plastic tabby thing off pet peeve I hate it when the labels do that and they don't come off but that's okay because it's the back and nobody's gonna see that so we're not gonna fret about it so I'm just gonna pull oh this one came almost off pull that off I've got some, um, this is Anita's, which I, you can get at um, Hobby Lobby, and Apple Barrel is Walmart. They're both, this one's around 50 cents, this one's around a dollar. But we're going to work with both of these today, one pink heart and one purple heart. And I am just going to squirt a little bit of the pink on here. I'm just painting the top of it. So I got my brush and just covering that top how many of you let's be honest true confession time how many of you still have up christmas i uh am not gonna lie to you i have all of my valentines up um with the exception of a door hanger which i'm still working on and um like these little things in the tear tray, but everything else is up. Um, but my Christmas tree's still up. All the decorations are down, and I don't want to really get the ridge. And um, but the tree itself, because it's large, and it's hard for me to take down by myself. And my husband, you know, has been uh, working, so it's still up. And they go in the attic, so it's really a two-person job. So all the decorations are down and in boxes, just that tree. I got two trees standing in my living room. So I wouldn't say that that's terrible, but you know, it takes so long to put up all the decorations. I, um, I'm totally okay with not rushing to just really take them down. I like to look at those lights as long as possible. If you guys are watching us live, say hi in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're up to today. So that's our first little heart. It's just a very light pink, okay? Now we're gonna do number two. 
uh, heart with some, this is called Lilac Mist, Apple Barrel Lilac Mist. And this one is uh, Princess Pink. I need this in case you wanted to know. Any shade of pink would work though, and any shade of purple. Um, well, for the conversation hearts, they're lighter. They're like pastels, but it doesn't have to be the exact one that I'm using. I think I'm shaking the table, so I'm gonna try not to try not to do that. I think this one at one point this purple must have got watered down for a project because it's really loose. Um so I may have to do two coats of this one. But these are super easy to paint. The kids could help you with this. I'm trying to stay on the top because I wanted to leave those sides kind of the natural color. So I'm trying, trying my best to not go over, but if you happen to, I got a little glob. We don't want that. If you do go over, that's okay. You can wipe it off. Okay, I'm just kind of doing a little, I had a little extra paint on my brush. So I'm just kind of going back, doing a little second coat with what's on the brush, so I don't have to pour it out again since it was kind of thin. Mm. I may have to do just a little bit more on that one. Just like I said, I must have watered it down for a previous project because it was really All right, these are fun. These are gonna be cute in my tear tray. And these would work for a tear tray or if you have a bowl or a basket you're filling up. They would even be cute, like if you're doing a um, Valentine's gift. You could hot glue um, some twine on it or staple some twine in and make it like a little tag. That would be cute because these are they're bigger. I would say they're probably about three, four inches across at the widest part, but they're they're light. So they would work as a tag on a gift or a topper. All right, let me put this down. I am gonna hit this one just for a second with the blow dryer. Acrylic dries really fast, so the blow dryer is very handy. crafting station for situations like this when you're in a hurry. Acrylic dries really fast. So here we have our lavender or lilac and then we have our princess pink heart. And so on the um, pink one, we're going to do not really a conversation heart. I mean, this looks like a conversation heart to me, but I wanted to do sprinkles, just sprinkles. I thought that would be fun. So we're just gonna, uh, actually I'm not gonna put this in the template because I don't need that much. So I'm just gonna kind of shake it. And this is an easy thing to do. It Just shake your thing up, get you some paint in there if you're not using a lot. That way there's no waste. Sometimes when you pour it in the template, you can over pour and you end up wasting. So I've got just enough red and white. I've got a fine tip brush and we're just going to, I'm going to do my white first. We're just going to make some little dashes. All it's, there's, if you want to do a pattern, do a pattern, but I want it to look like sprinkles that just got sprinkled on. And if you've ever used sprinkles, then you know as well as I do, they don't come out in a pattern. They go everywhere. They go onto the counter. 
they spill over onto the floor and then you have to sweep like let's be real so I am just gonna paint little dashes they're probably gonna be I'd say that's probably a quarter of an inch again fine tip brush I'm just gonna randomly go all over faster and so just wherever it looks like it needs a dash then we're going to come back and do some red ones in there this is going to actually I'm I haven't had lunch yet, so these sprinkles might actually, I'm gonna be hungry. I'm gonna want a donut. Okay, these sprinkles over here are getting much bigger than the ones on the other side. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can mix them up, all of the things, whatever makes your little heart happy. So if you're enjoying this craft, if you think you're going to try it, share it with your friends, send it out. Uh, I hope this inspires you to do something Valentine-y. That's an official word, I feel like, or it is now. Um, you know, share it with your friends. Y'all get together and do it. That would be fun. All right, we're just going to come in with some red. You could do this. I'm doing it with a brush because I don't have a white paint pen handy or, and I don't, my red paint pen is a little more on the orange side. Um, I love Uni Posca. I love their pens, but this particular red is more on the tomato side. And I wanted like a brighter, deeper red, if that makes sense. So I am just kind of filling in the red amongst the white. Wherever you think there needs to be a red sprinkle, this one's not that wide. It looks like a, you could have done, I'm doing dashes. You totally could have done um, dots. You could have done polka dot sprinkles. That would have been cute. Again, whatever makes your little heart happy. Just kind of go in the opposite way than the other ones are. This is seriously making me hungry. Oh gosh. Just little dashes. You could have, we could have done lavender on here and the mint green, which is, I think, how many colors do conversation hearts have? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That bag of the Brock's conversation, little hearts, and they say, be mine and kiss me and love you and all that. So there's the, there's, I think five. There's the light, they're all pastel colors. There's pink. And lavender I think there might be a light orange one and a light blue one and like a mint green one so I think there's five of them I don't know I have to I personally true confession I know I'm painting um, the conversation hearts but I don't like them to eat I think they're fun to like give as a Valentine because they have a message but I don't like them like just to eat if I'm gonna get candy for Valentine's, I am always hoping for some chocolate. But this one, again, this one's a really easy one the, for whether you're doing it or if you wanna get the kids involved, this would be fun. Um, Rinse this out real quick so it doesn't get crusty because ain't nobody got time for crusty paintbrushes. <laughs> for real. 
All right, we got weather happening. So the sky, you see my light just changed. All right, so this is it. This is our first little heart. Isn't it cute? It's just simple, simple, just a wooden heart. We painted it pastel pink, and then we added some red and white sprinkles. So it, like a cookie, a donut, it's making me hungry. <laughs> So that's that one. I'm going to put it, like I said, these are going to end up on my tiered tray, I think, hopefully. That's my intention. Um, but they would look cute, like I said, in a bowl, arranged on a little plate, or just set out. Um, they won't, well, they, yeah, they won't stand up, um, but they're good. They will lean against something. So, and like I said, if you wanted to add a ribbon, hot glue a ribbon, um, on the back or some twine. It'd be a cute little ornament, a little gift tag, anything like that. It'd be cute in a wreath if you wanted to attach it to a wreath. Super cute. So that's the first one. Now on this one, we are going to go true um, conversation heart style. So I have my pink paint pen. This is a Uni Posca, which is my favorite brand to use. It's water-based, not oil-based. Um, but you can get, you know, whatever your favorite paint pen is, or you can even do this with a brush. Um, so we are just gonna write B9 on here. And hopefully I get it centered, but it's okay if it's not, because those conversation hearts aren't always exact. I've even seen some like the letter missing. <laughs> so we are gonna go ahead and go for it. Now, conversation hearts are, I'm trying to mimic, if I remember correctly, I probably should have got a picture of one. But if I remember correctly, it's just a plain font. But again, you can write it however you want whatever makes your little heart happy um <laughs> cute so here is I'm gonna go over it again, make them a little bit thicker. There's my little conversation heart. Cute. All right, so there it is. It's not, it's um, just simple. It's not fancy, but I love it. I don't think my paint was totally dry right there, so. All right, there we go. How cute is this? Be mine, super cute, super easy. And like I said, the kids can help you with these. Aren't they fun? Just a fun way, like I said, I'm gonna put these in my tear tray, but you, there's a hundred things you can do with them. Just a fun little easy way to add a little something extra for your Valentine decor or gift giving. So we got that. I do have a couple other things I wanna show you. I've got another quick and easy one. I'm doing two crafts in one life. I feel like I should get like some, a gold star and applause something. <laughs> um, Hey, when I come back, I come back with a bang. I do want to show you this little Dollar Tree find because I love it. Okay, how many of you have been obsessed with the bottle brush trees for Christmas like I am? I love them. And this year, I did like a whole forest of Christmas trees. A lot of them were these bottle brush trees of different colors and sizes. But then we... Um, 
I got into crafting Christmas trees. So I did different wooden ones and all of that. So I had this whole forest of Christmas trees. But anyway, I just love these. They're not that expensive, depending on if you catch them on sale or where you're buying them at. And they're just a fun little way to add, again, a little something extra, a little lanyard um, to your decor. So I got this one from the Dollar Tree uh, last week or the week before. They're still there. Um, uh, by the way, all of their Christmas little trees like this are 50% off. So do the math, $1.25. So that's just like 62 cents on sale for all their Christmas ones. Okay, but this little guy cost me $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And how fun. He, technically, he was in the Easter section, but I got a pink one. They had pink and blue, and um, they had a green. They had, did they have white? I don't remember. They had all the colors for Easter. They're cute as can be. Some of them had lights and they lit up. This one is just a plain one. Um, but again, I got pink, because I'm gonna stick this little guy in my Valentine's tiered tray. I think it'll be a cute little addition. So y'all check out your local Dollar Tree for these. Um, just something fun I wanted to share with you guys. So now another Dollar Tree little thing that I found were these guys. These are um, stickers, uh, heart stickers. There's some glitter. They're, they're wood. Okay, you can't beat that for $1.25. They also have just the packs. These have the little sticker thing on the back and they stick pretty good, but I always add a little hot glue just because. But, um, so that's a good deal for $1.25. They also have the packs of similar. They're wooden like this and they're different. They're, I don't think that pack has, I should have grabbed it. I think the loose ones, they do not have the sticky on the back. Still the same price, but I think there's 24 pieces. I can see it, I just can't reach it. There's 24 pieces in that one for uh, $1.25, and I don't think there's glitter, but there's pink and the natural, and then there's a red. So these little wooden hearts are a great, inexpensive way to add to your uh, craft collection and um, just jazz up whether you're scrapbooking or doing a card or doing something like I'm about to do, these are just a fun little thing. So I'm gonna rip it apart. And I am gonna use, I think the small red heart, the glitter, cause glitter, it's my love language. And I have a clothespin. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hot glue this little heart to the bottom of this clothespin. Actually, I might be able to stick it. I'm just lining up the bottom of the heart with the bottom of the clothespin. I'm gonna cover the edge. And this is it, we're about to hot glue it, but look how cute that is. And I'll tell you why I did this. I was like, they don't wanna see that, but it's a fun little idea. I got, you can use a regular clothespin if you have it. You do not have to use this one that I have. Um, let's see if I have the, oh, I don't have the top of it. But these little mini ones, I wanna say I got them either at Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree sometimes has these. There was a whole pack of them. They're not that expensive if you want the mini ones. These are kind of actually mid-size ones. Um, I thought I would have some of the mini ones handy, but of course I don't. They make them smaller than this. This is about two inches. They make one, a little bitty mini, mini ones that are like an inch. Or you can use regular old fashioned, regular size clothespins. You can get those at the dollar store, Dollar General, for like a buck. You can get them at Walmart, the regular clothes pins. So you can do that as well. Um, you don't, but I had, I had these little ones on hand. And so um, I wanted to do this, let me get to the point. 
It's a recipe holder. So in my kitchen, I have a little recipe stand and I have I write all my recipes in journals. So I have like a journal for desserts, I have one for main dishes and one for side dishes. And so I always have some type of little clippy to mark my page and it's just a fun little extra decoration uh, in my kitchen right because if you're going to be in the kitchen it might as well be cute right so um for christmas i have an old one that my kids got me that has a little gingerbread man and another one that's they painted a clothespin like um like a reindeer so those were my ones for christmas but i said i need a valentine one and so when i pulled out those hearts i was like i'm gonna make this super easy you could do the see it pulled right off so the sticky is not the best but again a dollar 25 so i'm just going to add a little glue onto the bottom of my clothespin hot glue um yeah just a fun little way you could do it with a button you could add um you could do a little bow, like some material or something. You could decoupage some pattern scrapbook paper. There's tons of ways you can dress this up. So there it is, it's hot glued down. How fun is that? So I'm gonna have sparklies to look at when I am cooking uh, tonight. So there you have it, we have a little clip for your recipe book like mine, for your planner, for whatever. Again, this would be cute on a gift. Tag the little name tag onto the gift or clip it on with a little clippy. So that's fun. And then our conversation hearts. Ta-da! So did that, we got a lot done. And these, look, I don't even think we've been on here for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then our little tree which technically is Easter, but we're gonna repurpose it for uh, Valentine's first. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these easy, inexpensive crafts. I hope it inspires you to get um, in your craft stash or go get these items and try something, be creative. Um, it's fun and I always get so much satisfaction when I know, I, look at that cute home decor and I made it. So get out there and uh, do something creative. Jazz up your house, give it as a gift, um, but just use the creativity that God gave you. You can be creative, I know you can. So happy crafting, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon with another craft. I've got, I've got them lined up. One of them is gonna be the interchangeable pillow that I did for Christmas, we're gonna turn it into a Valentine's pillow. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be the next one we do. So have a blessed day. Stay warm. Come on.